So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another video in which we're going to be taking our first look on Swift UI as a framework on CodeDAM. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and like this video in order to get more videos which I'm going to release very shortly on Swift UI. So in this video, we're going to see if Swift UI is just like React on steroids. If you have seen WWDC 2019, you're going to have realized that Apple has done a very major update to Swift in general. That is Swift UI, which is a complete new UI framework for Swift language, allowing you to develop awesome applications on iOS, macOS, tvOS and watchOS. That is all of the Apple platforms. So let's get into it. So taking a look at React and Swift UI, we're going to see there are a lot of similarities. Starting off with both are for UI. React sells itself as a UI library and Swift UI, well, it has that in name itself. So Swift UI is a UI framework for Apple operating systems and devices. Both are declarative. By that, what we mean is that you have two kinds of programming models in general, that is declarative and imperative. Declarative means that you only tell what you want to do, not how you want to do it. So in React, you know, you have all that states and components and everything where you just tell React, then you want that you want this component to render like this. This state should be updated and React behind the scenes does update the component whenever the state changes, whenever the props update, everything like that. So you don't tell React how to do that, but instead you just tell it what to do. That is declarative model. Swift UI follows a similar model, declarative programming model, where you just tell Swift UI how you want the layout to appear. Not, not really how, but what you want the layout to be. And Swift, Swift UI is going to take care of how it should be programmed under the hood. You don't have to worry about that. All that detail is abstracted from you for the good part. React and Swift UI kind of both support hot reloading. I won't say it really should be called hot reloading because Swift UI is providing some sort of, you're going to see as called as dynamic changes. So if you're running Xcode 11 and Mac OS Catalina, you're going to see if you use Swift UI on some real applications, it ships Xcode 11 ships with actual Swift compiler, which is going to run your application live into the simulator. And as you change your code, your application layouts and everything you're changing gets updated. You can get a similar thing with React too. But obviously React gets the benefit from web technologies, essentially JavaScript. So React could use like web sockets and long polling to keep connected to a backend server running for deployment and monitoring any sort of file changes and everything. And it's going to hot reload and redeploy your solution on the web. So it saves a lot of time. So that is again common between React and Swift UI. Another thing you should note is that React and Swift UI both are library or framework of a particular language. So you see that React is built on top of JavaScript. Similarly, Swift UI is built on top of Swift. Swift UI is not a language. It is a framework built on top of Swift. So that essentially means you could use Swift without Swift UI and uh, you can still do a lot of things, right? Just like you could use JavaScript without React. And finally, we have this thing, React is backed by Facebook and Swift UI is obviously Swift in general is backed by Apple. So these are both tech giants companies. And so we could expect a lot of new releases and support for both of these frameworks and libraries. So they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So it's very good time to spend a lot of time investing on any of these you like React or Swift UI because well, they are here to stay. Given that Swift UI is new and the hot kid right now, I would say going with Swift UI is a good deal. All right, so what is not same? Well, we have one 
we have React on one side and Swift UI on another. So we know that if you're a JavaScript developer, you know React has this concept of splitting stuff into components. Well, you're gonna see that React follows when you create certain components, you have to write JSX, which is just literally writing HTML in JavaScript. We also have React Native with React, which allows you to build applications on mobile app, mobile devices and cross-platform applications using what you know from React. Um, React relies on either CSS if you are doing on web or yoga layout system, which React Native uses to make use of CSS on the mobile as well, kind of like CSS, not really CSS, to create a similar layout you would want on a mobile device, right? Other than that, React needs a lot of JavaScript support in general, which is a very popular and intensive language in general. Swift UI, on the other hand, instead of components, it has views. So in Swift UI, what you're going to do is have multiple views of your application or your app or Mac OS app or whatever you're creating. In Swift UI, you're going to write stuff in Swift language itself right apart from like having a different syntax system you're going to find it pretty similar to how you write swift in general so that would be swift for swift ui obviously it supports cross platform but with a asterisk that is it just supports cross apple platform devices that is you have a common layout system for mac os ios watch os and tv os which is pretty cool if you are an apple developer so Apple ecosystem is now binded by Swift UI. You have a common layout system for all of these devices. Swift UI comes with its own dedicated layout system. So you don't have to worry about all that absolute positioning or auto layout or anything like that. So Swift UI comes with a dedicated layout system, which uh, I would say kind of is like flexbox if you are used if you are used to web but uh, yeah i mean web has way more complicated layout systems than swift ui could offer right now but eventually we would be getting there all right so next we have which is my favorite part about swift ui is we have seamless animations integrated right into the framework which means that you can have very complex and awesome animations right out of, out of the box if you're using swift ui which is a pretty good deal if you're gonna work with swift ui you're gonna have seamless user experience and awesome animations as we would see as we proceed with more 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 and more swift ui videos in on this channel finally we have like this is kind of like related to animations only you can have all those paths and shapes drawn whichever way you like you can have all those transitions those good animations um, which you would need to use javascript if you're working on react right so you have to use other libraries other maybe like other files other javascript snippets if you want the same effect integrated into frameworks with react frameworks like react and finally, there's so much more to Swift UI that I cannot cover it in one video. With React 2, we have a lot of things, but in general, this was the crust of the video. So, yeah, Swift UI is kind of like the big thing, I would say. And it's going to be a hell of a ride for Apple and Apple developers, and basically all sort of developers who are going to use Swift UI. The only thing that is a little bit not so good with Swift UI is that if you want to use it, you have to be on iOS 13. So I don't think a lot of major companies are going to shift to Swift UI. Um, I don't know, in a couple of years or so. But yeah, it is going to be the future Apple is paving right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and like this video in order to receive more Swift UI related content. That would be all for this video and I'll see you then in the next one.